All living organisms are made up of cells. Some organisms are made up of just one cell, like the amoeba. We call these unicellular organisms. Some organisms, like plants and animals, are made up of many cells, millions and millions of cells. We call these multicellular organisms. But what are cells? Cells are organisational structures that complete all the processes of life. There are two kinds, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. All cells have certain features. These include some kind of genetic material, a cell membrane and a cytoskeleton. The membrane and the cytoskeleton contribute to the cell's organisation, structure and shape. All cells are enclosed by a cell membrane, also called a plasma membrane. Some cells have a cell wall enclosing the outside of the cell membrane. The cytoskeleton is different to both of these. It is inside the membrane. Animal cells do not have a cell wall, but many other eukaryotic cells do. These include plants, fungi and many protozoans. Cell walls help give the cell its shape and make it more rigid. Prokaryotic cells, or prokaryotes, are the earliest type of living cell. They are simpler than eukaryotic cells. Many simple life forms are a single prokaryotic cell. Bacteria are prokaryotes. Prokaryotes do not have a nucleus. Their genetic material is located in an area called the nucleoid. But it's not sealed into that spot by a membrane or any other structure. The inside of a prokaryotic cell contains cytoplasm. Most prokaryotes have a lot of ribosomes. These are necessary for making proteins. All living cells must be able to make proteins. The inside of a cell is surrounded by a cell membrane. Prokaryotic cells have a cytoskeleton. This is a network of filaments that gives a cell its structure. The cytoskeleton in a prokaryotic cell is less developed than the cytoskeleton in a eukaryotic cell. It's necessary for cellular reproduction and movement and affects the cell shape. Organelles are specialised structures that serve a particular purpose in a cell. Some organelles are called membrane-bound organelles. Others are called non-membrane-bound organelles. It's important to distinguish between these two groups. In the past, scientists thought that only eukaryotic cells had membrane-bound organelles. As scientific tools and techniques have improved at the end of the 20th century though, our understandings of prokaryotes has evolved. Eukaryotic cells or eukaryotes are much more complex. Their genetic material is located in a distinct nucleus with a clear nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope. Eukaryotic cells also have a clear structure with many organelles. The major organelles in an animal cell include ribosomes, Golgi apparatus, the endoplasmic reticulatum, vacuoles, and mitochondria. 
Eukaryotic cells also have non-membrane bound organelles. Each part of a cell carries out a specific function. Different types of cells have additional organelles. For example, plant cells have chloroplasts, which are necessary for photosynthesis. Animal cells don't have chloroplasts. Some cells have organelles that continue outside the main structure, like flagella and cilia. These are used to help the cell get around. A flagellum is like a tail, which can be used to propel the cell. In effect, it's swimming. Some organisms have two or more flagella, which can be used in a corkscrew-like movement to make the cell move more efficiently. Both prokaryotes and eukaryotes can have flagella, though prokaryotic flagella have a simpler structure. Flagella are a very old type of organelle. Many cells also have cilia. There are two major types of cilia, primary and motile. Cilia are hair-like structures. Primary cilia help collect sensory information and they're found in most animal cells. Motile cilia are used for movement by making wave-like motions. In complex organisms, cilia can be used to move substances across the cell. As the cilia wave, they move different substances over the cell's surface. In less complex organisms, they have many functions and can help the cell itself to move. There's a special group of protozoans known as ciliates, which use cilia to move very efficiently. More complex organisms, like mammals, have both kinds of cilia. Cilia are very complex, but they're also very old, and they're only found in eukaryotes.